Jordan Tower with JT News. Well, I'm going to go out and make a prediction. This weekend, Drake, Drake, Drake will, will be in Philly performing Summer 16 tour. I think it's Friday or Saturday night. You know, I think it's a, I think it's Saturday night. I am predicting that Meek Mill comes out on stage with Drake. As much as that beef was such a big thing last summer, just referring to Drake uh, to Meek's last interview, he didn't really go in some more. It seems like he's over it. And you know Drake always said it's not personal. He would have done it to anybody. And the way rap beefs go nowadays, it's not like the 90s, early 2000s where you got beef. It's beef. It's beef forever, and it means something. It's more of a marketing ploy now. It gets the two talking about each other, gets some excitement going on, and then you see the two hanging out, and you're like, wait a minute, didn't you not mess with dude? Like, look at Future and Young Thug. Future's bringing out Young Thug, but they were going through some Twitter beefs before, and it was getting kind of messy. Game versus Young Thug. They diss each other, but then they, you know, it's all good. You know, it's like, it's always all good. It never means anything. These beefs never mean anything anymore. It's all like a big soap opera. And it's all for the cameras almost. It's like, it's fake, you know? So I don't know what to think. I'm thinking that they're going to shock everybody. And they are going to bring out Meek Mill on the summer. Because, you know, Future and Meek Mill get along. I mean, you know, they kind of like distance themselves themselves from each other when future was doing so much work with drake but i feel that meek will come out um on that summer 16 tour and you know look at drake versus tyga that we're going back and forth for a while and then all of a sudden tyga and drake are hanging out at the kardashians house you know the, these things aren't real they're they they get over it and then they just want to be friends again buddy buddy you know, there's only a few things that people can't come back from. I mean, 50 Cent, if he has beef with you, there's usually no coming back from that. I was surprised that Young Buck was allowed back into the G-Unit camp, you know. But, like, usually when 50 got beef with you, it's a wrap, you know. Like, and sometimes it's just petty personal things, you know. Like, like Dipset, you know. They're just fr- they're brothers. You go through it with your brother, you know. That stuff's forgivable. I'm talking about... Like, if somebody does something to another person, there's no coming back from that, usually. Um, you know, look at Gucci, man. And, you know, there's a lot of people hanging out with Gucci, man, that he dissed before, like French Montana, you know. But, you know, people forgive and forget. So I think this Meek Mill thing, it wasn't really that serious. I mean, Meek Mill was trying to kind of end Drake's career by calling him out on the ghostwriting allegations. But Drake kind of came... You know, he kind of like overcame that with the beef, you know, all the diss tracks. And nobody really got harmed here. In fact, it really boosted Drake's career because it showed us another side of Drake. So maybe he uh, maybe he likes that he went through all that. Let's see. But let's see what happens this weekend. I will not be shocked if Meek Mill comes out on the Summer 16 tour. But what do you guys think?